Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to animate a waving flag in Anime Studio Pro. Alright, so um, keep in mind this is not going to be a professional animation, this is just something I figured out for myself. So yeah, let's get started. So we take a layer and let's just name the layer by double click on it and we call it flag. There we go, and then we pick a color, and I will change the line width to 2, because I prefer that. And then we take the draw shape tool, choose rectangle, and we draw a rectangle right here. Like this, and this is going to be the stick of the flag. Um, then um, for the flag, um, I'm going to choose this color, red, and we take the draw shape tool, and. I'm going to choose the triangle and I will draw a triangle right here and then I take the transform points tool and then I will rotate it like this and put it right here correct it there we go so this is going to be the flag um, maybe make this a little bit bigger there we go so, um, in order to animate it, uh, what we need to do first is we take the add point tool and we just add some points right here. Uh, we are going to add four of them right here. So, one here and one here, one here and here. So, we need these points in order to move it, to make it bow and to uh, give it different forms. So, um, now that we have done that, we are going to start animating. So, um, basically with a flag, it's um, uh, the different, uh, when the wind is blowing, um, what happens is that a part of the flag, uh, where, whether it's the beginning, uh, let's say the beginning, the middle or the end, um, is going up and the other parts of it are moving with it. So let, let's go to fr uh, three frames, three frames further. One, two, three. So what we do, we take these points right here, which are at the beginning. Oh, um, and I see I have to correct something right here. I haven't done this right. I have to add a point. Just remove this. I have to delete this point and I add a point on the stro on the stroke of course so make sure it's in a straight line like this <clears throat> and then we go f three frames further again so we select them and then we take the transform points tool and we just move them like this there we go and of course you can see that keyframes are created right here so it's moving from here to there so like I said basically we have to make sure that this is moving with it so if this is going up the logical way it would be that this is going down so that's that's exactly what we are going to do so this point in particular we are going to move like this and these points may be a little bit like this. Go and maybe just adjust it. Like this, there we go. So now that, uh, now we have the beginning that is going up. And now we are going to do the same thing with these points right here. And that we are going to do on frame six. So first, um, first we are put, going to put this one up. Like this and of course um, what we have to do with this is just put them down like this and this one um, kind of stays the same maybe correct it a little bit more so we have some movement there we go so now it all ready looks like this um, finally 
we are going three frames further again, which is frame nine. And then um, this point, of course, has to be up um, at the end. So we just move it right here like this. And basically, um, this is already kind of uh, like it should be, but just to make a few corrections, we're just going to put it right here maybe just and this kind of like this and finally um, to finish it we are going to frame 12 and all we have to do right now is just copy the first keyframes uh, on frame 0 and then we go to edit copy edit and paste and then it becomes the same as frame 0 so now it will look like this. So it's already looking like a flag that is waving. Um, but uh, of course, uh, there are two things you can do. You can either just copy these keyframes on the timeline and then so it will wave. Uh, but the best way is uh, to select these keyframes. Um, and this is why I copied it and pasted it right here. So what you do, you select them and then you click on it with your right mouse and you click on cycle and then it's already created. What happens is that these keyframes go back to the first keyframes and then it will go over and over again. So it will continue, these and this animation will continue to go on. So if I click this away and then if I make the points invisible and I would play on the timeline you can see we have now animated a waving flag so yeah there we go that's about it so yeah um, it's a very basic animation but if you if you have uh, if you don't expect too much too much this can be helpful so yeah um, uh, try to do something like this. Uh, just play around with it. You don't have to do it exactly like this, but this is kind of the way how it uh, could be, could look realistic. So yeah, that's about it. So anyway, if you have any more questions, leave a comment. And yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe for more. I make new tutorials every week on Wednesday. I also make my own animations. I will upload them whenever they are ready, so you can watch those as well. Thanks for watching, guys.